Brief idea about the poem in the first stanza taking the example of rain the poet asks us to see its bright side in the second stanza she asks us to enjoy the fast running moments of life in the third stanza she becomes optimistic about being courageous even after her death life believe is not a dream so dark as sages say of a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day sometimes there are clouds of gloom but these are transient all if the shower will make the roses bloom o oh, why lament its fall in stanza 1 the poet begins with the word life which is the title of the poem it emphasizes the fact that the poem is all about life according to the poet we should believe that Life is not a dream so dark as sages say the life is not as bad most of the people believe and say often a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day the term morning rain is a metaphor that symbolizes sorrow and despair The line means that despair is often a way to joy and happiness like morning rain which leads to a pleasant day sometimes there are clouds of gloom but these are transient all that is there are sorrows and grief in the life of every human being but they are not permanent rather they are temporary and short lived in the final line of the first stanza the poet raises a rhetorical question if the shower will make the roses bloom or why lament its fall meaning that If rain can make the rose bloom then why should we mourn it in other words sorrows lead to happiness and should not be lamented rapidly merrily life's sunny hours flit by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly dot Stanza 2 consists of four lines. According to the poet, life's sunny hours flit by very fast, and thus, instead of lamenting the sorrows and griefs, one should gratefully, cheerily enjoy those fast-flying moments of life. What though death at times steps in, and calls our best away what though sorrow seems to win or hope a heavy sway yet hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell still buoyant are her golden wings still strong to bear us well manfully fearlessly the day of trial bear for gloriously Victoriously can courage quell despair stanza 3 in the third stanza the poet says in a rhetoric way says that though the death may take away your life during our best time or the sorrows take over our hope 
we should never lose the will and determination because hope has elastic springs elastic springs means that the hope is elastic like the spring season it can be bent by the sorrows but cannot be broken and retains itself after the clouds of gloom go away or when the winter goes away in the next line the poet brings in herself and says that thought the sorrows and griefs have bent her down or her hopes she still has her golden wings which are capable of being flying even after griefs bent them down she is can bear all the hurdles of life as she is manful strong and fearless and on the day of judgment her courage will make her victorious thus the poem ends with a strong will hope and determination that good will ultimately come to her